guys welcome back to my channel thank you so so much for being here today i do have a dollar tree haul for you i hope you're having an amazing day again i just want to thank you for being here just to let you know this is pre-recorded i'm currently on vacation and so i wanted to make sure to have some content for you guys so i did do some hauls prior to leaving so i did pick this stuff up a little bit before you're seeing it but that's just so i can make sure i had content for you um I hope you're having an amazing day. If you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. I hope you decide to stick around, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget the bell button, then you're notified every time I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. All those things will definitely help out my channel so much. And again, thank you for being here. If you're not new here, I wanna give you guys all kinds of love. I appreciate you guys also so, so, so much. All right, um, I just have a Dollar Tree haul. Some of the stuff I'm really excited for. Some of it was vacation prep. Like I said, I'm already on vacation, but I'm recording it before I go. And so I'm still sharing with you the stuff I grabbed. Um, it is the, let's see, what is the date today? I don't know, it's still June. The Saturday before the 4th of July. So the 30th, no, 29th. January, February, March, April, May, June. Yeah, it's the 29th. And you're not seeing this until like a little bit after that. So. Hopefully you can bear with me on that one. And I mean, nothing's like crazy, crazy that like you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you didn't tell me that sooner. So first of all, I'm picking up some tissues. This is for the five of us to take on our trip. I'm gonna make sure that each of the kids have some in their travel backpacks because they're each gonna take a backpack for the plane. I'm gonna make sure that I have some in my travel backpack. And um, then whatever I don't have in our backpacks, I'll probably just toss in to have with us for like when we go to the beach and stuff like that. So. I got the Barbies and the um, Jurassic World because I just thought they were cute and fun. And I just like them. So it's what I got for us to take with us. Um, these I was excited to find. They are some new hand soaps that I just came across. I'm guessing, I think that we've been seeing them come around for a while. But uh, I love coconut smell. And these are foaming hand soaps. And this is Ocean Spray and Coconut Foaming Hand Soap with Aloe Vera and Vitamin E. But I still just opened it and gave it a smell and it smells really, really, really good. I actually typically take my own hand soap with me when we go on vacation. Maybe I'll take this one. I usually will pack a hand soap when we're at a hotel because I don't like the soap they necessarily have. We're staying at an Airbnb, but I don't know. But we're also gonna be doing like a run to like the store so I yeah I'll just wait so um, I grabbed that because I'm gonna put it out once I put out my summer decor I have that and I also picked up this orange one I thought this would be fun in the kids bathroom um, they use up a ton of soap and the foaming soap might make them use less I don't know but um, this one smells very much like citrus it's orange and peach ne nectar it's called oh, I can't get it open now citrus sunrise it it's like orange juice it smells really good and I had Lorelai was with me when I bought it and I said will you guys like this in your bathroom she said yeah probably all right I also grabbed this notebook it says vacay on it they had a pink one that said travel this one that says vacay and then they had another one and I can't remember what it was um it is by just Greenbrier it doesn't tell me how many pages it has but I picked this up for my vacay so I'm on it right now as you're seeing this but we are going to kind of plan out some of our days, kind of have a rough estimate of what days we're spending where. And so I thought this would be a good way to kind of write it down. I can keep it for anything I'm jotting down while we're out and about um, and just keep it with me. So this is my vacay notebook. Um, and then after we're done with the Florida trip, if I start planning another one, we have tentatively for November for, you know, Thanksgiving travel and my birthday. Um, I can use it later on for any of our vacays. And it, that can be my little notebook that I make plans in. So I grabbed that in the same area. Um, Lorelai saw this. She thought it would be nice for school supplies. It is just a pack of like sticky notes, but you get all kinds of different ones. So this one's like a big square, a little or rectangle, a little or square, these little like tab style ones, and then a couple other small ones. So yeah, these were really cute. Oh, this one's a tab. So all one, two, three, four, five of those are all tabs. Super cute. It's an 11 piece. It doesn't tell you how many sticky notes total you get, but you get 11 little bundles. They're not as thick as like a regular sticky note one. So it's like each one is less than that, but she liked it. We picked it up. We're coming into school supply season. And so I figured why the heck not, right? All right, um, continuing for traveling. Um, I got this, it's the three piece travel thing. I have a hair. 
And when you have like a hair just tickling you. Sorry guys. Three piece travel bottles. They're 2.7 ounces each. Um, these are just the white ones. They've been putting the cute little cardboards behind them and they're marking them now at $1.25. And that is because Eric lost his toiletry bag. It's somewhere in his messy, messy room. So I'm just throwing him together a new one to take on. And so I grabbed him in my last Dollar Tree haul, this little Pert Plus. Um, and then this is going to be for like his body wash. And if he needs anything else, there is a hair. I think it's stuck to my shirt in my inside my shirt um but we needed that and then that way too if either of the boys need any bottles for anything i have those i also picked up for traveling two of these they're the yardley Yund london disposable washcloths these are the ones they're like huge um mari from everything mari always picks these up she talks about how great they are because she still has a little in her house and that these are perfect for just cleaning up any of the messes and so um i thought these would be great because we're going to be going to like the beach and stuff a lot and if you get back to your car you're still covered in sand whip out one of these bad boys and try to get like the sand off your legs and your feet and your stuff before you're getting in the rental car you get 18 large washcloths in each of them and they're not flushable so don't flush them it says they're pre-moistened large disposable wipes they're suitable for all over the body use and gently cleanse away skin impurities hypoallergenic and pleasantly fragranced formula leave your skin soft and nourished even after frequent use so that's why i grabbed them um just like after those beach days if we're covered in sand i thought this is a great way to get the sand off and with kids they're always a mess and most beaches have like a shower but you run into those ones that don't and so it's harder to rinse off um, I had picked up in my last haul a couple sets of band-aids. I got waterproof ones and pineapple ones. These are just the basic band-aids, flexible fabric. You get 26 in here. I'm just going to put together a little um, first aid kit just to have on hand. I want to make sure we have some band-aids and stuff because you never know when you're, you know, at the beach or anywhere what, um, if you're going to need a band-aid or anything. One sec. All right, I think I pulled the culprit out of my shirt. It was just tickling the whole time. It was driving me crazy. All right. Um, I was speaking of Mari when I was talking about these wipes. I want to make sure I talk about Jay from Frugal Jay as well. Um, I don't think I've done that on this video. I, I've been recording a lot of videos. Um, if you haven't already, head over to her channel. Give her a subscribe. Watch her content. She can use the revenue that we get from um, YouTube because she's not currently working. She's going through some health stuff. She is the most amazing person. She has two channels, Home with Jay and Frugal Jay. Frugal Jay is a Dollar Tree hauling channel, kind of like mine. And then Home with Jay, she does a lot of home decor, um, thrifting, like how to decorate your house on a budget. And her eye is amazing. So you should have hood over there, subscribe, and you should watch her ads so that she can make some money because she can use your support. All right now i was thirsty when we were out and about and i grabbed myself a coke zero i do that a lot i get thirsty i grab myself a soda pop and then i never open it and i don't drink it but um yeah now i have a can of coke zero for when i'm thirsty again i picked these up for vacation i here's what i've done i i've picked these up already i've hauled these already i don't know where they're at and i don't have time to go searching through all my like piles of haul stuff that i have right now because with my eBay business and with my hauls, I just kind of have a jumbled mess in part of my house. So I grabbed another one. Our kids have been into playing cards. These are different. These are Family Talk 108 prompts. Um, and I just thought it would be really fun. So does this, this one doesn't give you a, um, like, example. I was a hard word to find. I don't have scissors over here. And these tape dots are, these tape dots are stuck. But I just thought, you know, well, we're like, we're going to be in the car for a while. We're going to be in the plane for a long while. And our, we're flying into Sarasota, but we're staying in Port Charlotte. And so we're going to have kind of a drive between the two. And after a day of travel, if the kids are grumpy, but want to do something to kind of like, decompress or just have an easy thing to do so they come like this they are definitely packaged but we will open this package up because i'm going to take them with us and then also like the days we're just kind of at the airbnb and you just they like to play like would you rather and did you know and like give you like information and so i thought they would like this too what was the highlight of your day today i try to ask that actually pretty regularly like what would you like best but that's one 
What is the most memorable family celebration you've ever had? If you could have a conversation with any animal, which one would you choose and why? If you could read any, if, if you could have any book or movie character come to life, who would it be and why? What is one thing that you wish more people knew or understood about you? Um, what would you like us to do more of as a family? So I don't know, I just thought that would be a fun thing to take along with us. Just trying to think out of the box of those times when you just need something to do. So um, I'm gonna grab those and take them on vacation with us for like that kind of travel time. All right, I found these. I have a problem with the cute little erasers. I think they're, yeah. And they had one other one that was like the space ones, which they've done before, they just repackaged them. But these ones were new to me. So we have sushi. And so they have the two little sashimis right here, a couple little sushi rolls, and then like a rice with like tempura shrimp. And, oh, I thought the chopsticks were something. They're not. The chopsticks are just on the packaging. But how cute is the little sushi rolls? And so there's, there's the plate and like, I don't know. They just were adorable. So I picked up the sushi. They have this one, which is like the ice cream. And so you get like the little pops like the little swirl pops. This one that's like an ice cream cone, but it like kind of goes up in size. The like soft serve ice cream and then the thing of ice cream. So those ones were really cute. And then we've seen one similar to this, but they've changed up slightly, I think. It's a hot dog, hamburger, pizza, fries, and the Coke. Oh my gosh. And they um, it says enjoy Mimi, mini, enjoy mini cola is what it says on there but try to really make it look like a Coca-Cola cup. How cute are these? So I had to pick them up. I left the space ones behind. I just picked up all the food ones. The packaging, like this is a little ice cream cart, a little thing of French fries, and like a little sushi board with like the chopsticks. Like the packaging is awesome. They each are a five count of our mini erasers. I don't think they're practical to use, but I think they're just super, super cute. So I grabbed them. And speaking of minis, they only had one of these in the store. So Lorelai and I picked it up. It is Mystery Micro Minis Series 1. There's eight collectibles. Includes eight mini collectibles. Collect them all. I could feel that there was multiple in here. I didn't realize that that's what it was. So we're going to open them. We're going to see them. I'm gonna hope to come across the box of them again. I took a picture of the box. If I remember, I'm gonna put it in right here. No promises, because I'm getting ready to go on vacation. <gasps> All right, well, we just showed sushi, but look at the little sushi plate with six little sushi rolls. They look like, like California rolls, maybe? Oh my gosh, okay, so that's cute. Guys. <gasps> It's a little avocado toast. It could use some more cream cheese or like spread in the background. The bread is a little not toasted enough, but still super cute. We have like a little muffin. It's a muffin because there's no frosting. Just a little muffin. Oh my gosh, how cute. Okay, it's like a little brand muffin. We have a chocolate square. They're just like a little, like Hershey's chocolate type. You would break them apart and eat them. But for $1.25, this is not a bad deal. You get all these in here. How cute are they? A little donut. Oh my gosh. I hope I run into these again. So like a little purple donut. One, two, three, four, five. A little whisk. So, you know, we made those donuts and muffins, so we needed the whisk to do it. I wish I got the boba cup. I'm not gonna get the boba cup. I need more of these. I, I really, really hope to come across these again. We have a little measuring cup. And then we have a little maple syrup. If you like minis, if you're like into mini things, like these are so cute. And to give you some like, so these are the erasers. And if you know like the size, they, these are teeny. Like compared to like the little erasers. Compared to like a deck of cards, this is slightly bigger, but like they're teeny. They're so cute. So totally dig those. 
I thought maybe it was something you put together, like you get little pieces and you kind of put it together, but no. So this shows like you can get a little fruit bowl. Here's, looks like guacamole maybe, or an egg, an instant noodles. This shows a cupcake, a flower. Here's the boba one I was talking about that I want the little boba. Oh yeah, I hope I come across those again. Those are super cute. Um, I picked up this. It is a little just nail file. They're travel ones. I'm gonna put one in my suitcase, one in my purse for traveling. Um, I like them because they have the case so you're not scratching up anything in your bags. But I feel like I've been breaking nails like crazy. Like this side is polished, this side is not. They're done by the time you're seeing this, but um, they're not done by the time I'm hauling. So I got that. That's why I don't polish my own nails because they just start chipping and I never get the nail polish off. Oh, guys, I was so excited. I found Twist one time in my stores total, and this is the second. And these were the three items. They're not the same items that I found the first time, but I love all three of the ones I found and I was so sad I didn't pick up more and I made the same mistake. I only picked up one of each again. But this one is Hype It Up weightless refreshing spray hydrate revive and define it says so the directions on it say meet hype it up our soft savvy curl former the refreshing spray perks up lackluster curls chock full of botanicals and good for you curl ingredients this moisturizing formula restores definition and uniformity use on wet or dry curls spray over hair then cup curls with your hands to instantly revive and reform your curls it is a weightless moisture, keeps curls hydrated. It has aloe vera, rice protein, marshmallow root, tamanu root oil, rosehip, and quinoa. It doesn't have any of the ugly. So mineral oil, petroleum, paraben, pathlates, harsh sulfates, and other things, silicones. So I don't, I scrunched today and I used some of my stuff from Twist. I don't have like curly, curly hair. I have like, like a wave to my hair. So I try to scrunch my wave out. But yeah, we're gonna try this out. I have more stuff in there, but I just threw it on the floor. So I got that. I'm iffy about the smell. I'm iffy about the smell. Um, and then I got Weather Up Lotion. Super light styling lotion. Fight frizz, nourish, fight frizz, nourish and define. This lotion delivers pillow soft and defined curls while locking out humidity and defending against frizz and flyaways. Apply to wet hair from ends to root, dry naturally or diffuse for added volume. Use fingers to break and shake hair and reveal free formed curls that stay all day. Jehovah oil, mango butter, shea butter, coconut and fruit extract and wheat protein and none of the bad stuff again. So this would be good in probably Florida, I think. Because if I let my hair naturally dry, it gets frizzy. Oh, and it came sealed. And no one likes frizzy hair. But I don't have like a ton of curl, but I have enough curl and then it gets frizzy, like it's a whole thing. It smells, it smells good. So I got that one. And then lastly, I picked up Primed, Prime & Co. Um, a two-in-one conditioner and primer. This one says this ultra rich primer doubles as a deeply hydrating daily conditioner to restore moisture to dry damaged curls to condition, apply to clean damp hair, leave in for three minutes, then rinse to prime, apply to clean damp hair from root to ends, leave in and head out. Also, oh, it's like either a regular conditioner or a leave in conditioner. That's awesome. So I got that one. So I don't know how I necessarily feel because I haven't used any of them, but I feel like I'm gonna like them all. All right, in the bottom of the bag, and then I have one last thing. Oh no, my bag's getting a hole in it, and I like this one. Um, I picked up some paper plates. I got these because they're tropical leaves, really liked them. I got this one, I thought Lorelei would like it. It's like a tie-dye look to it. And then I just got our basic one. Um, I get these, we get like a big, huge bag from Costco or Sam's Club, and we use those, but I like these for the times you don't need that like gigantic paper plate. And they each are a 15 count by designer plates i don't know who makes these it's distributed by greenbrier these ones feel thicker but they all say they have 15 i think it's the shape these ones are like more whooshy and this one has like a bigger drop to it in the middle but i grabbed those to have on hand and lastly for this little haul 
is another book. It's a Christmas book. It actually is by Hallmark Publishing. This one says The Christmas Company. And it is a small town of Miller's Point is known across the county country for the annual Dixonson Christmas Festival when the celebration is threatened by Clark Woodward, a miser a miserly big city businessman, Cake Buckner steps in to save her hometown, their traditions, and their favorite holiday. But along the way, she realizes that the man she's trying to protect her town from might need some rescuing of his own. Doesn't that just sound like a Hallmark movie? So I grabbed that because I am a Hallmark movie junkie. I love them like crazy and I might as well read about them too. So got the book for $1.25. Um, regular price was more than $1.25. Oh my gosh. It was something. Something 99. $12.99 was the regular price. And I got it for $1.25. I love me some Hallmark movies. So guys, that's what I have for you. I want to thank you again so much for being here. Um, here soon, my 4th of July decor will be down, but not until I'm home from vacation and probably have a little breather. Hopefully you're going to see another haul from me, but with Florida as my background, my Airbnb has an amazing palm tree wallpaper wall, like wall. And so my goal is to do some hauls with that as my background from stuff I get at, at Florida. So hopefully you'll be seeing me live from Florida, not live, but you know, during that time. But this is my last pre-recorded haul for you guys. So I want to thank you guys so, so much for being here and sharing this time with me. I don't know if it's the last one. It depends on the order that I post all my stuff in. It won't be the, there'll be a Timu haul, I think on Thursday. Pre-recording and getting my days straight is tough. Usually I do like one day and I do my three hauls, but I know exactly what day they're going to fall on. I've been doing the two hauls and they're pre-recorded. So anyway, thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing your time with me. I cannot wait until I see you guys again. And soon I will see you guys not pre-recorded. So that'll be amazing as well. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.